communicate not only to you and your colleagues, but communicate to your at-home teammates. That are your little ones, your kids. They get to know just as much as you would give a colleague or team member or project shareholder. Welcome to 100 Days of Trailhead, where the tech community comes to learn Salesforce, learn tech, get inspired, and invest in ourselves. We are your trail guides here to support you on your learning journey. We release videos weekly. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a video. In the description below, you can find links for everything we mention in this video, as well as books and resources we found useful. Visit our blog, 100daysoftrailhead.com, for other helpful Salesforce and tech content. Many people have trouble balancing their careers with parenting. Rakia Finley has been balancing parenting and being an entrepreneur for many years and has had some tried and true tips to share with you on how to balance being an active parent while building and maintaining a company of her own, Copper and Vine Studio. Rakia Finley is an American software executive, women in tech leader, full stack developer, Salesforce MVP, mother, private investor, and philanthropist. She is best known for her work with the Obama administration on their Girls in STEM initiative and continues to develop innovative technology solutions and community initiatives that promote diversity. Hi, I'm Rakia Finley. I'm the managing partner and founder of Copper and Vine Studio, a development agency and Salesforce implementation partner. I'm also a Salesforce MVP, a Washington DC Women in Tech user group leader, and a proud entrepreneur since 2003. I built my first company when I was 19 years old, and along with maneuvering through life, college, I also got to maneuver through motherhood as an entrepreneur and business owner. I'm honored to be here and be able to give you my top five tips to excelling in your entrepreneurship and your career while still maintaining excellence as best you can in your parenting. My top five tips for excelling your entrepreneurship and mastering your parenting. Tip number five, communicate. Communicate not only to you and your colleagues, but communicate to your at-home teammates. That are your little ones, your kids. They get to know just as much as you would give a colleague or team member or project shareholder. You get to talk to them about what to expect in the week, in the day, and what you plan for success to look like. Not just for your work life, but for your home life. Right? Set those goals together and identify expectations of what success looks like even with the littlest ones. Ask them their goals and how you can support them, but start each week off with an effective way of communicating to one another about how the house will find success. Number four, work smart. There's going to be a number of tasks and sometimes it gets to feel like there's not enough time. Get very clear on what it is you get to complete. Write it down and create an action plan strategy. Consolidate tasks that can be made more efficient. Find processes that you can create templates for, whether it's emails that you know go out on particular days, or even just how you maneuver through breakfast, lunch, and dinner time for everyone in the home. But work smart. Be very clear on all your action items and then get even more strategic on how you can get them done efficiently. Number three, set boundaries. Yep, it's one, in, it's one of those in there. Boundaries are really important. The concept of telling your colleagues, going back to that communication style, what to expect from you begins with a conversation of what must I do to make sure I can own all the responsibilities and all the needs that my week or day, month or year require. Not just for my work, 
but for my home, for the education goals of my family and my little ones. Set those boundaries. When you do that, write them down. Make them very clear. And identify them almost like a work law. When do you stop working? When are you offline? When are you fully aware and online and ready to communicate? Right? Who are you available for? Set those boundaries and stick with them. For me, that looks like at 5 o'clock, no matter what, I'm offline because I have dinner to cook and I have a little bit of conversation to have with my six-year-old son. Tip number two, have fun and utilize that amazing childlike energy that's in your home. Right now, people are on Zoom calls left and right. And some find themselves sitting in the same chair for over 12 hours a day. But you have the most viable resource one would need. Someone to get you out of all your adulting. And whether it's a tea party or a sword fight or a race or soccer or tennis, spend that quality time releasing in your body a little bit of fun. Get a way to utilize those teammates as a way to get that tension from the day out and find your child again. Allow them to feel like the leader and that they're your teammate helping you to release the day to find some fun. For me, it looks like running headfirst in my son's playroom and saying, what are we playing? What are we doing? And becoming a complete kid again. It washes away all of the day's stresses or tension and really awakens my mind to an exciting opportunity for next the next day or the next week. It's gotten to a point where it feels like my own mental happy hour playtime. And my number one tip about moving through this world of entrepreneurship and parenting, get honest. The reality is that you trying to be an entrepreneur is you being an entrepreneur. You trying to build an impact and a legacy for yourself is you building an impact and a legacy for your whole entire family. Commend yourself and get honest about all the hard work that you get to do and get in gratitude with all the hard work you get to do with amazing young generation that's watching you do it. All the ways you get to teach them how to lean into their awesome. All the amazing things they get to learn from you. Get honest about what success would look like, not just for you, but for them. And every day, work hard on behalf of that vision and get honest that they're a part of it too. Congratulations on your journey. Congratulations on your parenthood and congratulations on your legacy. I look forward to seeing you on the other side and hey, you always got a play date in me. Just know we're gonna have some fun. I'll see you later and I look forward to continuing to be a resource. Thank you to all the parties involved that allowed this amazing content to be shared and the communities that it impacts. I have a mission to always make sure we are being resources to one another so we can all continue to strive being superheroes. I believe in your superhero. I'm rooting you on. And so is Nathan Finley, my son. We're on the other side saying we get it. And we'll see you at the playground or the water cooler or the Zoom. But either way, you're doing it right. Talk to you later. Thank you for spending time with us. Please like and subscribe to our channel because we share weekly content to support your tech and Salesforce learning journey. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss a new video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. Connect with us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and on 100daysoftrailhead.com, all of which are listed below. 
Thank you for learning with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.